In the previous video, we discussed about the overview of mRNA processing. Now, in this video, we'll be discussing about the pi prime capping of mRNA in detail. Before we start our lecture, I remind you this video is sponsored by Nerdy Tutors. It's an on-demand tutoring platform which connects students with the best matching tutors in minutes. The platform is super mobile friendly. It allows students to chat with the tutor right on the phone. Nerdy Tutors understands what sort of problem a student is having and use smart algorithms to find the best tutor to explain the concept. Use the link in the description today and get $10 off your first tutoring session. Now getting back to our capping process. We see when we have a transcription process where DNA as shown in the diagram is being worked upon by RNA polymerase. This RNA polymerase enzyme works on 3' to 5' end of DNA strand and synthesizes a newly formed strand in 5' to 3' end what we call as mRNA strand. And to this 5' end the capping occurs. It is the 7 methyl gonosine cap shown in the diagram which is added just after the transcription starts. So we can say capping is the co-transcriptional process. This 5' cap is linked via 5,5 triphosphate bridge. And we have three different caps for 5' end as cap 0, cap 1, cap 2. These caps will be discussed in detail later in this video. Now if we see the structure of mRNA molecule, we see at 5' end we have three phosphates. Alpha phosphate, beta and gamma phosphate. Then we have nitrogenous bases with sugars and phosphates repeatedly. To start a process of capping, we have an enzyme called the phosphohydrolase enzyme. This phosphohydrolase enzyme works on 5' end of mRNA molecule and it removes the terminal gamma phosphate as shown in the diagram. Then we get a structure like this with only two phosphates. Furthermore, we have GTP molecule in this reaction. It's having phosphates as alpha, beta and gamma shown in the diagram. Now for this reaction to occur, we have gononyl transferase enzyme that transports GMP residue from GTP. Here we see GMP that's gonosine monophosphate is getting attached to the 5' end of mRNA leaving back us two phosphates. In the next step mRNA molecule adds methyl group to the gonosine residue. We see it is the s aromat molecule which takes part in this reaction. It has methyl group and by the help of methyl transferase enzyme this methyl group from s aromat is transported to the gonosine residue. So it acts as a methyl group donor here. So we see gonosine is methylated on the 7th position directly after capping. And ultimately we get the M7G that's cap bound to the mRNA at 5' end. Which forms as the mature cap at 5' end of mRNA. Now let's see what are the concepts of cap 0, cap 1 and cap 2 structures of mRNA capping. The first normal structure which is M7G phosphate 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 means methyl group is added to the 7th position of gonosine only. So what does this mean? It means in this structure only one methylation has taken place that's on the gonosine residue. So this structure is termed as cap 0 structure. Now if we proceed further we have enzyme that modifies this mRNA molecule further. We have 2O methyl transferase enzyme which transports methyl group to the mRNA thereby giving us modified structures of mRNA cap. It's when 2 hydroxy group on first ribose sugar is methylated we call it cap 1. Whereas when methylation occurs at 2 hydroxy group on the first 2 ribose sugars of mRNA molecule as shown in the diagram we call it cap 2 structure. Here we see cap 0 has only one methylated site that's at gonosine residue. Then on cap 1 we have methylation at gonosine and first ribose sugar of nitrogenous base as shown in the diagram. And when we look at the cap 2 we have three methylated sites at gonosine and at first and second sugars of nitrogenous bases as shown in the diagram. Moreover one thing to remember here is that this cap has diverse of functions but the major functions include exonuclease protection nuclear export regulation and translation promotion as it aids in ribosome binding. So this is all about 5' capping or the mRNA capping and its modified structures. In the next video we will be discussing its mechanism at molecular level structural diagrams. I hope you like the video. If you like it give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.